a vote uh, in the EU which will bring a ban in for two years on three types of neonicotinoid and we're here to support that and basically make the British government aware of our thoughts as beekeepers. In a nutshell, we just want some nasty pesticides banned. Um, most of Europe sees the threat to our food chain. Owen Paston doesn't seem to see it, so whether he has a backhander from a few companies, um, I wouldn't like to say. But really, the ultimate thing is that he's very tiny and defenseless, but they do such an immense amount for our food industry. And uh, if we don't really take this man seriously, we could well end up with no food. <laughs> <laughs> and the bees already have to struggle enough with a very bad climate with the effects of the climate change. I've lost three colonies of bees. My neighbouring beekeeper has lost four colonies of bees and would have routinely had about 80 to 70 jars of honey a year. Last year had four. So there's enough pressure on our bees to keep going without pesticides and the neonicotinoids. So please, Owen Patterson, please, please ban them. I've imagined with evidence for all the scientific studies that are on our side to show that neonicotinoids are harmful to bees and that we should be banning the neonicotinoids on Monday in Brussels. And there's so much proof, proof now that this, these pesticides are um, disorientating the bees and they can't find their way, way back to the hives. Um, that we should definitely take the precautionary method and, 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 and ban them for a couple of years and, and, and ensure that the bees survive. <laughs> Oh, yes.